Welcome to our comparison video on switching from 245 75ths R16 to 245 70ths R16. The diameter difference between these tire sizes is 3.2%, which slightly exceeds the acceptable 3% range. This means the interchange is not recommended without careful consideration and potentially some adaptations to your vehicle. Switching to the 245 70ths reduces the diameter by 0.96 inches, which in turn lowers the vehicle's ground clearance. This decrease could make your vehicle more susceptible to scraping on obstacles and rough roads, although it might improve handling by lowering the center of gravity slightly. Both tire sizes share the same width of 9.65 inches, ensuring that the contact patch remains unchanged. This consistency maintains the traction and stability characteristics of the vehicle, ensuring predictable handling and braking performance. Switching to the 245 70ths decreases the sidewall height by 0.48 inches. The smaller sidewall height could result in a firmer ride and less impact absorption compared to the larger sidewall of the 245 75ths. This might be noticeable on rougher roads or off-road conditions. With the smaller 245 70ths R16 tires, the speedometer will read slightly higher than the actual speed. For example, at a speedometer reading of 20 miles per hour, the actual speed will be 19.37 miles per hour. Based on our observation, switching to 245 70ths R16 offers benefits such as potentially improved handling and stability due to a lower center of gravity and unchanged width. The smaller tire size may also contribute to slightly better fuel efficiency due to reduced rotational mass. However, the trade-offs include a noticeable reduction in ground clearance, which could affect off-road capabilities, and a firmer ride due to the shorter sidewall height. The 3.2% diameter difference, while small, exceeds the recommended 3% threshold, which could potentially affect vehicle systems calibrated for the original tire size.